real quick before this video starts, I want to give a huge shout out to the notification bay of the day, and it goes to Hasta Menasati. I apologize if I really butchered your name, uh, but thank you, brother, for your comment. I really do appreciate it. Um, I will be doing uh, Perfecting Chamber and more. I'm going to be doing it actually on this episode, as you can tell uh, by the title of this video. We're going to keep it going, and uh, I'm very excited for um, for the future of this channel and uh, for everything that I have planned, everything from a case opening, a Code of the Duels, which I'm going to be talking about in this video, to everything else that I have planned. So thank you, Hasta Mensati. Again, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing your name, but notification bay of the day. Go and check them out. Give them a subscribe. Tell them that Avery sent you. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your host with the most, Avery LR32, here bringing you guys a card discussion for Chain Burn, and also going to be bringing another episode to you guys of perfecting chamber and this is going to be episode two titled new techs for old decks <laughs> that that was that was probably just like so cringy but you know can, can, can you blame me i need to make the title sound somewhat interesting <laughs> so this is a new card coming out and i believe circuit break um this is a card known as ojama duo now obviously we got ojama trio years and years and years ago and it also got a reprint in the dino smashers fury structure deck um and now we are getting Ojama Duo. Now, the reason why I wanted to put this in a Perfecting Chamberburn episode is because of the fact that this card is extremely, extremely good in Chamberburn, and it's not really meant for decks that are meta per se, like Zodiac or True King or whatever the case may be. It's meant more for slower decks. It's meant more for decks like Chamberburn who want to really control the game and burn you as quickly as possible. So let's just go ahead and dive into it here. So it's just like Ojama Trio, except you special some two Ojama tokens, hence the name Ojama Duo. They are level two, beast light, zero attack, a thousand defense. So same thing as the uh, regular Ojama Trio tokens. They cannot be tribute for a tribute summon, and each time one's destroyed, its controller takes 300 damage. Exactly copy and paste from Ojama Trio. Now the difference is that during either player's turn, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, especially some two Ojama monsters with different names from your deck. No one plays Ojamas. That's completely irrelevant. <laughs> what this is meant for is being able to clog up your opponent's board. Now I saw a replay from uh, some other Yugi tubing channel where <laughs> he had a Just Desserts, a Secret Barrel, Ojama Trio, and Ojama Duro, and just otk the opponent. He set everything. His opponent drew. He activated Ojama Trio and Ojama Duo to lock up his opponent's board, and then in main phase one, he activated, uh, actually, I think it was like two Just Desserts or something, or a Just Desserts and a Secret Barrel, and just ended up destroying the guy. Um, because if you're able to get off that, that somewhat big combo, where you're able to get off Ojama Trio and Ojama Duo at the same time, and then use two Just Desserts, you're dealing 5,000 points of damage to the opponent, and if you somehow open up all three Just Desserts with that, then you're doing 7,500 points of damage, and that's definitely not anything to laugh at. Um, the only problem with that, however, is that that's five cards right there, and 99.99% .99 of the time that's not going to happen in Chamber, and the only time you're really going to open up three Just Desserts is if you brick really hard. The whale had to drink some tea, sorry. <laughs> um, so... What other applications does this card have um, outside of Chamber? Well, for one thing, obviously Ojamas. Um, again, though, Ojamas aren't seeing any play. It's kind of pointless um, to even play that in Ojamas or even consider playing it in Ojamas because Ojamas are just irrelevant. They're not a good deck at all. Um, when it comes to the main deck being Chamber, the only problem is with Link Summoning. I've tried Ojama Trio in link format and I just don't like it. I don't like the fact that the opponent can just link summon with it. They can make an easy link, link three. Like if you think about it, let's say you know you're going first to the chamber player and you set up your board. The opponent draws and you do get off Ojama Trio and Ojama Duo, but you don't have like any burn cards like Just Desserts or Ceasefire or whatever to back it up. Your opponent's just gonna be like, okay sweet, thanks for the free firewall dragon. Uh take four play out Firewall. Well, actually, I think for Firewall, you need at least one Link Monster, but still, you get what I'm saying. A Link 3, okay, take all three Ojama Trio tokens, make a Link Monster, take the other two, make a Proxy Dragon. Like, And I mean, at that point, you're giving your opponent two Link Monsters, and you have no way to just completely obliterate them for doing so. They just got out two Link Monsters for free, and they're going to completely obliterate you, because now, pretty much all their main Monster Zones are open at that point, depending on what they played. Um... So I think that this card is a bit too slow, um, just overall, and I think with the new rule change, I think that really does show. Um, I think Chamberlain could still potentially use this, especially against decks that don't really 
um, use the extra deck all that much, I think that they would have a bit of trouble getting rid of the Ojama trios and duos. Because you know, let, let's take um, let's take True Draco for example. I don't play the deck at all, so I'm probably going to get this wrong. I know that they can make BFD, but let's just say for example that you come across a True Draco deck that doesn't play any Link Monsters for whatever reason. It just doesn't play any Link Monsters. You go Ojama trio and Ojama duo. They're pretty much locked out of the game until they hit a Dark Hole, which is still very, very, very good. Um, and then, of course, you could tribute off the tokens for a Lava Golem, but I don't see why you would do that, because then you're just freeing up one of their zones for them to do, you know, possible shenanigans. But I think that these, both of these cards still do have applications in the upcoming Link format metagame with decks that are slower, um, that don't really use Link summoning all that much, or don't even play any Link monsters. I believe that this card could still see some play in Chamber and decks, along with Ojama Trio. Um... Along, so the last thing I want to talk about as well with just new techs in general for old decks, um, another card that I had been considering for a while playing in Chainburn was uh, Terminal World. Y'all are getting a two for one in this video. So Terminal World, you'll activate only during your main phase one. While this card is on the field, both players skip their main phase two. This can be interesting in Chainburn, and again, it is just a tech, so it may not be all that good. But me and my dad were thinking about playing it for a while because of the fact that, you know, you play this while you're playing Chainburn, and the opponent just has to skip their main phase one and go right into their battle phase. They can't set up anything. They can't, you know, try and work around your back, or they just have to go straight into their battle phase. And then they just have to... Or, I'm sorry, it's in their main phase two. So they would have to try and do plays in their main phase one to clear your board, and then either go into their battle phase to try and attack you, or just skip their battle phase altogether and just go to their end phase. So, this is also an interesting card for the deck. I don't really think it'll see any play, but it's just something interesting to think about that I thought I should bring up to you guys in case you hadn't thought about this card. Um, I know there's also that bamboo card that makes your opponent skip main phase one, but that would be irrelevant in Chainburn because then you're not playing a Chainburn deck anymore. Um, but let me know what you guys think about Ojama Duo in Chainburn or in any decks in general. I really wanted to bring this into a Chainburn episode, not just discuss Ojama Duo. So, thank you guys again for all the support. Um, let me know if there's anything I may have missed in this video. Um, I'm sure that there are plenty of other tech cards that aren't just coming into my mind um, that I could still discuss. Like, there's so many different variations of Burn as well. Like, you could also play a Chain Energy variant uh, where you focus more on, like, you know, Chain Energy and keeping your life points up with Try and Guess and stuff. And Try and Guess is still going to be good in Link format because no one's going to be playing 15 fusions in Link format because you're going to have to dedicate spots to Link monsters. So, you can easily still just call Try and Guess and call all fusions and you have an even higher chance now of getting 3,000 life points than not. So anyway, thank you guys for watching as always, and subscribe if you have not already.